guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nadia and I'm your decorator. This video will be dedicated to a color scheme and particularly a monochromatic brown color scheme. So, if this topic is of your interest, then keep on watching. Now, for any kind of renovation project, you need to decide upon the color scheme that you want to apply. And the brown monochromatic color scheme is a very universal one particularly for the home office or for a bedroom of a more masculine kind of vibes. So, in today's video we will see some variations, some options of how to use at best the monochromatic browns. Now, if you desire to keep it down to earth but make it interesting and modern and a little bit more sophisticated, then I would suggest to rely first of all on stripes like this or like this, but also on very robust pleated fibers that you can see on different shades of the bronze from the lightest to the darkest and also on tartan and checks. Now look around and decide where you would like to place the main accent on the flooring, on the walls, on the furniture or on decorative objects. Now, if you choose the flooring, then I suggest going for a beautiful large parquet floor desk, for example, in some walnut or maybe in some dark wok that you can place in large desks or fishborn or clothes planning or even a marble dark like, for example, Imperator dark that is very beautiful, quite expensive, but very beautiful. But in case the flooring is not your main accent or even more, if you wish to hide it, then cover it with a big, you know, monochromatic carpet or another type of materials that can be in a lighter shade of brown, in a deeper shade of brown, maybe something that is more textured or on the contrary, something more soft, but neutral. Keep it down to earth. Now, in the case that the accent shall go on the walls, well, here we have plenty of options. First of all, and the less expensive, is to have different shades and tones of the browns. You know, the lighter, the darker, to use as painting, matte, demi-matte, glossy, you know, the way you want. Then you may go with a particular wallpaper of some graphic motifs, for example, or you can upholster an entire wall or different walls with panels in a mix of different woods. This may even be, you know, positioned uh, with veining changing directions, for example, the vertical, the horizontal and diagonal, uh, or a mix of maybe for example, woods with other materials like leather, natural leather, some brass or other type of metals, you know, granites, marbles, uh, leathers. There's so much materiality that you can use to create a truly particular boiserie or panels to upholster the walls. And at last, remember about arts, paintings, uh, sculptures, uh, tapestry and much more. Now, if the accent shall go on the furnishings in the room, then choose the main objects in some exclusive materials. For example, if it's for the home office, create a majestic library and bring in a particular desk, maybe with some, I don't know, marbles, for example, or granites, maybe with some particular woods, like for example, this one, which is ebony, very exclusive and particular rare uh, wood and quite expensive, but very, you know, exclusive. Uh, then you may bring some inserts of, uh, I don't know, particular leathers, for example, uh, like this one or some metals, you know, the combination of the materials to be used must be something exclusive, rare, rare and, you know, unusual. But if we're looking for the bedroom, for example, then choose a particular bed style and materials or create an extra headboard or bring in a unique and beautiful, uh, you know, beauty secretaire accompanied by a poof or a chair or a fabulous bergere. You know, there's so many options, but keep in mind the exclusivity of materials and styles. 
If, however, you have decided to place the accent on decorative objects, then keep all the rest relatively low key. So, by using natural woods, natural simple fabrics, leathers, uh, matte painting, uh, you know, furniture with no extra decorations and no extra details, but then add some exclusive details. Choose, for example, particular curtains, some statuary vases, some original table lamps, or something else of great, you know, appeal. And remember that a great style is always less is more, so don't cluster too many things keep you know great in mind what will be your first number one accent in the room so if it's the bed or if it's maybe the wardrobe in the you know the room or maybe it's you know the library so something that will be of first impact of great impact and all the rest must accompany that you know main object of uh, interest so um, there are so many combinations truly in browns there is a large scale of different shades from the lightest you know that is almost white the ecru color and then the beige and then the browns which can be warmer uh, for example this one which is walnut is a warm brown but for example sucupira is a cool brown you can see the difference you know they they talk differently uh, so you have so many options to choose from keep in mind to uh, you know uh, connect all the options between them there shouldn't be uh, too many controversies so if you choose a warmer scale then keep with that maybe add one you know cool uh, tone just to have a little bit of contrast but all the rest shall you know be balanced don't bring too many shades because then it will be you know like too much so if you have big uh, objects for example the bed or the wardrobe or the closet or um, you know the secretaire or the library keep in mind that these objects are big so they will have the main you know color concentration so all the rest must accompany that color present on that big you know object that's why i talked at the beginning of the video that you should choose where you want the accent because if you have a great flooring you know that it should be left you know outside so you should see it that's the biggest surface that you will have the walls and all the rest must accompany that color and must create a little bit of contrast but not creating too much you know difficulty in talking to each other they must communicate so the main importance in every color scheme is that you can choose two, three colors that will be the main colors and all the rest will be present and that's not difficult to do because every shade, for example, the browns, you can have it you know lighter you can have it darker but if they both are cool toned they communicate with each other so that will be great you can add for example a lighter shade for example this one which is ecru but always in a cool tone not beige it's ecru so it's lighter and cooler so all of these shades will communicate great between each other and it doesn't matter what you will place on the you know the bench what you will place on the uh, something else but the color scheme all together will work perfectly now i will show you some options that i have already you know prepared on the working desk just to give you some insights as for the rest pinterest instagram there's so many ways you know to get inspired I thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments if you have questions. I'll be happy to answer to them. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos dedicated to color scheme just to give you some inputs on decorating. And we shall see each other on my next video. In the meantime, ciao! Mwah.